What's up guys? Thanks for checking out this special video. There are so many ways to make money online. Thousands of ways. But in this video, I will show you my most Hey, Fred Lam here and welcome to Actrix TV. Now in this episode, I'm gonna share with you how you can make $300 a day with affiliate marketing. Now, if you have watched my first episode, I gave you the overview. The second episode is all about e-commerce. And in today's episode, I'm going to share with you affiliate marketing. So just like my e-commerce video, I'm going to actually jump over to my screen right now to show you how you can run an affiliate marketing based business and start generating 300 bucks a day. And most importantly, I'm going to cover the traffic component side of things so that you know how important it is to be a media buyer for any of these business, regardless of what age you're at. So let me jump over to my screen right now. All right, so we're back to my screen right now. And before I share with you what you got to do to create a business that could potentially earn you 300 bucks a day using affiliate marketing, I want to basically share a little bit of a background story on what affiliate marketing is. So for those of you that don't know what affiliate marketing is, you're essentially selling other people's products and make a commission when you refer a sale. One of the best platforms for you to actually get started with affiliate marketing is ClickBank. They are the pioneer when it comes to affiliate marketing online and they have thousands, I mean thousands of products that you can actually sell and make a cut when you refer them a sale. So that said, let's see, let's say that if you want to get into the health and fitness space, I'm gonna bolt this up a little bit bigger. You can see that you right now on average can make $33.87 if you promote this offer right here. So you're getting up to 90% commission, okay, for serious affiliates. So with that, you can actually check out the offer, the affiliate resource page, and you can even check out the offer over here. Now, here's the problem when it comes to affiliate marketing. A lot of people simply just create something called bridging. Now, what do I mean by bridging? Let me actually jump to my whiteboard right now to show you what I mean. So when it comes to bridging, a lot of people, all they do is basically go out, get traffic, okay? Pretend that this is traffic directly through an affiliate link. to the actual offer. Now, by doing this, we call bridging. But when you do this, a lot of times, you are going to get your account suspended because this page is most of the time, it's not gonna be compliant, okay? Facebook, Google, Bing, any other places do not like these kind of offer. So now, if you want to become a high performance media buyer and say, well, how can I generate traffic? How can I start building a business with traffic to an affiliate marketing business? Well, it's very simple. Let me actually erase all these. What you want to do is to have something right in between, okay? It can be simply a lead magnet. Okay, it can be a pre-sell article page. Pre-sell. It can be a quiz funnel at the same time. So what you're doing is that you are basically using traffic to basically have people going to either a pre-sell page, going to either a lead magnet, or going into a quiz funnel, where then it all leads back to the affiliate offer. Right over here. So it goes back into here, goes back into here, goes back into here. So when someone actually purchase, okay, from the traffic, you, basically turn this into money, right? This is your commission. So let's say in our previous example over here, uh, this 
product is average sale is $38 and 87 cents and the average percentage of sale is 78 percent so let's say that you're going to make 75 percent right out of a 33 dollar product so if we basically break this down 3387 3387 i'm using my calculator right now divide it by oh sorry multiply it by 0.78 percent that means that you make 26 dollars okay in this example you make 26 dollars and 41 cents in commission for every single person that you refer. So in order for you to actually generate $300 per day, that means that you simply just need 300 divided by 26.41. You basically need around 11 sales a day, okay? in order for you to generate $300 a day. So now we got our goal of 11 sales per day. So what you got to do as a high performance media buyer, you would then have to say, okay, what can I do? Where can I generate traffic to a pre-sell page, to a lead minute or to a quiz funnel? Now, obviously this is basically considered cold traffic, right? You need to actually generate cold traffic maybe through Facebook, maybe through Instagram, and maybe through uh, Google to actually have people going to your funnel first. Once you've done that, obviously there will be people going to here, going to here, and turn into commission. But you don't want to solely just rely on just cold traffic. Because what you want to do, and I'm gonna change the color back to, let's see, purple. What you want to do is have a traffic plan in place. So let's say that you've already have someone going to the pre-sale page. They leave. You can then, you know that they're interested because from the ad, you have good click-through rate, you have good cost per click, but they just leave, right? Then you can actually create a series to have them go to the lead magnet and follow through. Or vice versa, you can have a quiz funnel have them go here or basically a quiz funnel go here or go here so you want to build more funnels to basically retarget them based on where they're at so that eventually they will then go through your funnel and actually turn it into obviously money right this is what you want to do and at the same time and over time you can also then take these okay go to another affiliate offer I'm going to do affiliate number two offer and obviously bank in the commission. So essentially what you're doing, again, you're creating an infinite loophole. You're getting cold traffic to your pages. And from there, you know that they're interested in the particular topic. In this case, it's like a weight loss offer, right? So now you basically promote a lead magnet, promote a quiz funnel. If they're not responding, well, guess what? Promote another affiliate offer to them and really have a traffic plan in place. And that's what you wanted to do. And that is your goal. Now, when you're retargeting, obviously there's gonna be Facebook, Instagram, Google, there, is, there are banners, YouTube, um, and also there are GSP. So you wanna use different forms because these are now, the purple are considered warm traffic. They kinda of like, they already express interest on what you have, right? Either in your article, in your leap magnet, or in your quiz funnel. But then what you want to do is to continue to push them forward. Now, when it comes to affiliate marketing, there are also some important things that you gotta worry about. Things like you gotta basically understand, well, what is your EPC? And what is your CPC? Uh, what is your uh, opt-in rates if you're using a lead magnet? What is your uh, click-through rates on a quiz funnel or a pre-sell page? So these are like the important data points that you simply just look at when you are simply running an affiliate marketing business. Because again, if you know what your earnings per click are, if it's your earning per click, let's say is a buck, and your cost per click is gonna be like 75 cents, that means that you're gonna be producing 
25 cents for every single click in profit to your business. So again, you wanna first break it down, all right? Break it down on how many sales you need per day, which we have done so over here. Uh, I'm gonna do a highlighter. So we've done so over here, okay? We have broken down that we need 11 sales. How do we get 11 sales? Well, first we need cold traffic to go through the offer and then we need to create an infinite loophole, right? Using these strategies to continue to actually have these people that are now a warm prospect to continue to actually buy from you. Now, where does the hot prospect comes in? Well, here's what happened, right? When someone actually opted into your lead magnet or someone actually uh, opted into your quiz funnel, you will then obviously have an email database where you can continue to promote them other affiliate offers. So for us, when we are doing media buying for affiliate marketing, like we look at the big picture. This is the big picture. And ultimately, what you gotta really focus on are these data points, right? These are the data points that you need to focus in. But in order for you to do 300 sales a day, you need to obviously generate uh, 11 sales at 26.41 a pop in order for you to get close to 300 bucks a day. Now, if you can see the value and can see how media buying is such an important skill set because you can have all these set up, but if you don't have traffic, okay, you're not gonna be in business because traffic is really the lifeblood of your business. It is something that controls how many people come, what is your cost per click, how do you control this so that you can actually start generating sales online. Now, for those of you that are like, well, affiliate marketing is not my thing. I tried it, been there, done that. Again, it's fine. I just want to share with you, if you are in affiliate marketing, this is the blueprint that you need to actually follow. But if you're like, you know what? I tried affiliate marketing, it's not working. Is there something else that I can do? Well, if you wanted to learn how you can actually master the number one skill sets, which we all agree right now, it is traffic and having four sales can potentially generate you $120,000 a year. Listen, I got an amazing workshop, talk all about it. There's a link obviously somewhere over here, which opens up a box uh, that you can sign up or in the video description right below, there's a link. I'm hosting a webinar to show you how to master this number one skill set so you can apply it to any business that you have. And if you want, you can then use the skill set just for sales can potentially generate you $120,000 a year. So if you're interested in that, there's a link in the video description or over here that you can actually click on um, and sign up. Other than that, if you like this video training, make sure you leave a comment right below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and make sure you click that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you'll be notified right away. All right, so that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching our video. I hope the information we presented shows you are excellent service. So what are you waiting for? Take action now. And